Greetings, Gemini. Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am the Oracle of the EP, and I have to only give you your energy check-in for the month of May. Keep in mind, these events could have already happened, or they may play out throughout the rest of the year. So, you can playlist it if you like. And it could also apply to a co-worker, a child, an ex. It could even apply in reverse. So, if you're watching for the Sun, Moon, Jupiter, so forth and so on, it will apply in reverse. It will reply for you, the co-watcher. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, we have low vibration and high vibration, and those in the middle are those striving to be in the middle. So, with that being said, you have to take a realistic approach for this to work. Okay, so you know, have to know where you fit in this scenario. I have already done my meditation and cleansed in my decks, called in the appropriate assistance and guidance needed for this reading. I just ask that you keep an open mind because some parts may apply, some parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. Okay, so Gemini. As I was meditating on your energy, I was getting a sense of being stubborn, um, as well as someone feels they need to take authority, um, and someone is questioning loyalty. And so, you know, all day I've been getting these messages, you know, and it's kind of like real Gemini-esque. Okay, so yes, this is etherology, so we're going to, you know, you know, yeah. So I make up my words here. So with that being said, Gemini-esque. And what, and what I mean by that Gemini is, you know, wanting loyalty over love. Right? And, you know, that's... You know, it's kind of like the duality and polarity of the Gemini, right? And then I was getting the 1111. So some of you may be divine partners and some of you may be in karmic partnerships, okay? You may be dealing with soulmates, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and get into the reading, Gemini. Ether. Show me what it is I need to see for Gemini. Okay, we have the Jaguar. And this is talking about releasing. <laughs> and then we have the purpose, the shark. Okay, so obviously, here we again, you know, same kind of thing. So I feel like a lot of you are doing some purging, some releasing of alliances here because you feel like uh, you, there's a shark in the camp obviously right so someone wants to be single we have nines here so some of you may be dealing with Sagittarius okay if not this is definitely someone is in the process of making some sort of transition okay now this could be you or someone you're thinking of um, you know and um, it was a pur purposeful action with the seven here. This is something that was divinely orchestrated, whether if you feel it was uh, high vibration or not. The question is, what did you learn? Okay, so let's see what Ether has to say. All right. All right, so we have the elephant here. This is about leadership, taking responsibility, connecting with the divine. Having the strength and the courage and also remembering your purpose, remembering who you are. And then we have another seven. So we have the falcon here. Horus, you might have a connection with Horus, some of you. Okay. And you're needing to have the eye of the eagle here. And this is speaking about observation and, you know, remembering and moving with the purpose okay um i feel like for some of you you are very much up in the front okay and you're being called to 
a higher calling, a higher purpose. So something is ending for something to begin. It's like a creation. So some of you may be coming out of a dark period. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> right here we have uh, we have the dog card here. Companionship. So questioning again, loyalty for me. You know, you rather have loyalty then uh, love because a lot of you feel like there was a snake um, you know uh, what was manifesting beneath the surface okay for some of you this is uh, having to do with <clears throat> your creation uh, your connection to the divine with all these sevens needing to pay attention to the signs um, we, I've also been seeing, and we have 22 peak peeking, peeking out, okay? So this is about opening up the door to uh, new avenues, new ways of thinking for some of you. Sacred uh, things that are sacred. Some of you may be looking or waiting for some sort of uh, information. I'm getting news for a lot of you. That you might have hear a lot of birds, ravens, crows, things of that sort. Even you may see a lot of snakes or dogs. You know, I don't know why that's that's uh, common here. But speaking about the five, I as I was meditating on that energy, I was getting you know when you being faced with a challenge with a five, right? That's about moving out of justice or fear. Okay, and so anytime you faced with the five scenario, that means you have to have strength and you have to have uh, courage. So here we have the elephant, um, you know, and remember, yeah, because uh, move with a purpose and move with an intent because uh, some of you are dealing with a shark type energy. Now, this could be you or someone you're thinking of. Like I said, energy is about, uh, you know, low, high, and in the middle. So, realizing that it's all for a purpose, it's all about divine connection. So, here we have another four. So, this is symbolizing divine partnerships for me. You need to use all the knowledge that you gained <clears throat> in this, in this uh, situation and uh, move with a purpose. You know, use the wisdom that you've gained in this situation. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. Ether, show me what it is. I need to see. Okay. I wasn't going to take but both of them, but I'll take both of them because it, this is talking about new beginnings and uh, endings here. So we have someone needing to take responsibility immediately, okay, in the 10th house. The 10th house energy is talking about recognition, obviously, right? Um, for some of you, <clears throat> you might be famous. Okay. Um, or this is having to do with your legacy, your status, your career, um, and new beginnings. You, you know, obviously you're having to do it alone. Again, we have that Sagittarius in energy, and um, this is having to do with. Uh, your vibration, like what are you can, what are you connecting with? Some of you feel like you, the energy that you're connecting with is outdated. Here we have another first house energy representing Aries, so you may be dealing with the Aries. Some of you may be cuspers, um, or have a fire <clears throat> somewhere in your chart. Okay, um, okay, we have the twelfth house in energy so so some of you have a path uh, of teaching you may also be dealing with the Capricorn as well um, 
<clears throat> this is also surrounding karma and uh, revealing what's hidden. So some of you may be going forward or maybe in the past uh, experienced something that was hidden to you or something having to do with the Aries. Okay, so here we have the Cancer showing up at the bottom. Like I said, someone could be dealing with a fire sign or you could be a Gemini Cancer Cusper. Um, Leo Cancer or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so um, there could be someone uh, interested in Aries or a Cancer. Alright, you could be watching this for someone on the cusp of that energy okay or this could be you and your emotions about a new beginning Gemini um, something may have recently ended this could be a new partnership with the Aries or a Cancer something could have ended with the Cancer um, we have uh, Leo here as well um, so someone's probably juggling I feel like you know, didn't know what to do, um, going back and forth, doing a lot of observation, needing some to strength, you know, to release the mask, to reveal who, um, I don't know, the lighting's kind of bad, to reveal who they, who they were. I feel like someone was shedding a lot of uh, past energy, rebuilding themselves, I'm getting We have the lots here and the chance and omens here. So I feel like a lot of you may be getting signs that you just can't no longer. Uh, yeah, with this illumination, you can no longer um, avoid. Some of you may be anticipating an ending for a while. Or this could be someone that you're thinking of. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, feeling impatient. Um, um, I, I feel like in this connection, someone felt like the timing was always off. Yeah, a lot of, uh, with the spells in the alchemy, in the clouds, uh, someone was probably under some effects of magic. If not, it's just a lot of um, spirit is saying like uh, institutional, like um, religious beliefs with this perception. Yeah. Reverse. Um, some of you may be feeling real sensitive to uh, dairy I'm getting or your allergies might be um, bothering you. Someone was, was anticipating some sort of proposal in this situation, probably calling in, like trying to manifest with a love spell, um, wondering, uh, waiting uh, for something to be authenticated you know to be finalized uh, with the decision some of you may have been in court you might be waiting for some type of legal communication from the court system feeling broken wanting to pick up the pieces and move forward most definitely someone does i feel like um with that 12th house energy, I feel like um, a lot of you, you know, with the spell work and everything, um, those are not under spell work. It was just a lot of illusions. Um, feeling like you kept attracting the wrong partner. I feel like that mirror energy was just for you to realize what you wanted. Um, setting boundaries, what you won't accept from a person, realizing when to say no. Yeah. With the taboo here, 
I think I feel I feel like for some of you the taboo was um, you or someone you're thinking of was perception of life you know was kind of like off like I don't know like real institutionalized for some of you okay um, for others of you this person was operating in a real um, like lower so chakra <laughs> you know um, then we have the creation card so some of you may very well be in a divine connection or on your way to one with the gospel and the creation connected and definitely with the strega yeah, yeah that's witchcraft someone was doing witchcraft you know the masculine energy in this situation um was was obviously aware of uh yeah of this energy felt betrayed possibly by the person that was doing it this masculine energy did feel a sense of being cursed uh, dealing with this particular woman this is a strong uh, Taurus energy here someone that practice it pra practice it practice you know practiced um, witchcraft you know black magic darker arts things of that sort something came out in this situation uh, where there was some truth revealed about um, something being off balance, okay? Maybe it was your perception of life. Maybe it was someone's perception of this connection. Um, however, someone felt there was a lot of secrets being involved. You could have possibly be dealing with a Libra. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, someone... Someone felt that either you were keeping some sort of secret, possibly uh, about another connection. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the distorted feminine energy. So, um, yeah. So the distorted feminine energy, the third party in this connection was keeping some sort of secret from you, him. Okay, so this is a you, him, and her. You might want to watch those. Just click that hashtag, you, him, and her. If you're dealing with, to see if you're dealing with those particular signs. Okay, so yeah, there there was a connection here. Obviously, uh, marriage, somewhere in this uh, equation, someone was waiting for a marriage to end. Their perception of a marriage, um, Needing to take their power back, choosing loyalty over love. All right, so we're gonna go right here and uh oh, okay, sorry about that. Jim and I had to get a clarifying deck. Okay, we have the King of Chalices. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I gotta make sure this volume is up because my phone be doing some weird things. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead. For those that would like to donate, the donation will be down below. My cash app will be posted down below. I appreciate all donations. Thank you very much. Okay. This 10th house energy, I do feel like someone is completing a karmic cycle. So, you know, someone has completed a karmic cycle to go into a new one. Only if you learn the laps, the, laps, the lessons. What's taboo? You know, what should you do? What's really taboo? Like using your five senses I'm getting to connect um, instead of you know, um, the ego I'm getting what other people choose for you, what other people think is right for you, coming with that emotional, uh, 
energy. Some of y'all have someone spying on you. Uh, yeah. It could be this most definitely could be you here. Um, they see you as stable. Someone could be spying on you because they see you as a stable person. This could be financially um, as well. Okay. Wanting to come in with an offer here with this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. For some of you, you might be in the same sex partnership. Okay. Why is the 10th house here? Yeah. Okay, so we have a King of Wands, a Aries Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, <laughs> they're showing up in your reading. Okay. All right. Um, here we have another King of Pentacles. Some of you may be in the same sex partnership again, or some of you may be, you know, in three ways, four ways. I don't know. Okay. There's a uh, heavy energy of spying. Um, so we have the world card and the wheel. So someone, this feels like, you know, they had to end a karmic cycle. Are they coming out of a karmic cycle? Things have changed. Okay, now if it's for the good, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. For some of you, this person is having um, nightmares um, associated with the fear karma secrets um, someone feels uh, like some secrets are, are being exposed or will be exposed or have been exposed wishing they could take things back uh, yeah this person was very egotistical um, very much on a high horse. People looked up to this person and, you know, they was addicted to the attention. You could have been dealing with the Capricorn. If not, um, this person is just receiving a lot of heavy karma. Um, very defensive. Those people that once admired this person now, you know, are, are find, finding um, strife. Okay, someone feels that they need to protect themselves. Um, for some reason, they fear. Um, they could be a lot of fear due to competition. Um, needing, feeling like they need to protect their empire. I'm getting for you. This is another Aries energy here. If not, this is a Taurus as well. Okay, so. I did get that energy of Taurus uh, with the stubborn. Yeah, okay, so someone does want to come out of a um, situation where someone got their heart broke, okay? So they want to <laughs> resurrect the dead. I'm getting this person sees you as very passionate. Um, there may have been a lot of good sex. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This person might be doing a lot of uh, masturbation. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm getting, okay? With this Queen of Swords, someone wants to speak their truth, okay? This could be you. Are you waiting? Um, you could also be dealing with the Libra or Aquarius, but you're waiting for some type of illusion to drop for some truth to be spoken. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Oh, too many cards. The King of Wands sees some type of happiness here. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's a tower. Okay, so something happened regarding this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. If not, this is you, um, and you were just very passionate, uh, very attractive person in the past. Something happened where you probably lost some property, okay, or someone got put out due to a fight, okay? Very hostile fight over uh, some sort of offer. Someone was being sneaky, uh, mischievous, uh, treacherous, going back and forth, um, hiding their feelings, I'm getting. 
um, being dishonest, um, having an affair, uh, yeah. So this person probably, you probably went through a divorce in this situation because uh, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, if not, you went into some type of uh, spiritual uh, reset, okay? Very much with the Hermit and the Zero here. Um, you got your passion back, okay? You say someone got their passion back due to this tower moment. Let me see what's going on. this tower energy here okay some of the cards are reversed but it was due to something that happened in the house somebody probably lost their house got kicked out the house um hold on let me fix the okay clarify the tower oh Okay, so, yeah, there was a message in the past, um, okay, so someone that you held in high regard, okay, or held you in a high regard, once made some type of transition in the past, like, let's see, message. Something happened in the past with this energy. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So they may have found out that someone was cheating on them. Okay. Possibly a Sagittarius. If not, um, it could have been an older man or a younger woman or younger woman, older man. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. For some of you, same sex. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Okay. For some of you, you were dealing with uh, someone that was just, you know, very promiscuous, very promiscuous, although although very attractive, uh, whether male or female. Something happened with this person's um, finances. For some of you, you may have been dealing with someone that was bisexual. Okay. Why? For some of you, you know. Okay, so why is the in the first house here? Oh. Okay. Um, because this person went on a new pathway. Some of you are expecting to hear a a call from this person. Someone. Uh, yeah, a message. You're gonna get a message about someone's pathway due to a karmic uh, cycle ending okay this is weird um, possibly due to abusive relationship maybe with a Taurus or a why can I always forget the other <laughs> why is that uh... um Hmm. I just had a um, Libra, okay, <laughs> or this could be you. All right, this could be you. You could be someone abundant, self-sufficient. You may have children, okay. Um, if not. Um, some of you may have had children with this person or this person has children, okay? Um, but there was some sort of deception surrounding a child's mother, um, some sort of abusive 
uh, relationship here. Okay, so yeah, someone had to sacrifice and, and let go of this child's mother, uh, yeah, in order to uh, bring a new offer, to get a new offer. And uh, this person was heavy, heavily contemplating and thinking about this, 